Well, hi everyone, this is TRP Button here, this is formerly known as <coughs> TRP Button. Uh, this is a short video of me trying to show you how I'm set up, okay, from controller settings if you're on controller. So here we go, this is what I use. Start off with the gameplay first. So there is your first one. And now difficulty. As you can see, I always have AI on very hard. Infinite flashbacks. A manual sequential is the quickest way. Automatic is just terrible. You shouldn't use to automatic on this game. It's just not good whatsoever. I don't use the clutch because I haven't got a wheel set up and I don't really want to use it on a controller because it'll just make things difficult <coughs> obviously change the camera to whatever you want ABS I always have zero traction control I have zero stability control I have zero and the race line is always on because that helps you out massively all the time and everything's on enabled there on the OSD next one so the controls so as you can see it comes up there like that normally then you press X to go on it edit and this is what I have set so obviously a normal steering setup I have R1 is for acceleration L1 is for brake circle clutch and for when you're using manual gears if you're on a controller having R1 and L1 as you're accelerating brake it's easier to use triangle and square as you up and down and obviously there are all your look backs and stuff hmm didn't see all this before hmm Oh, that's just navigating menu and stuff. Right. Uh, yeah, that's all normal. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, all the way back up. So, this is my setup. Where is it? Alright, from here, this is what you should have on your screen. When you, if you want to set it up like me advanced input that is what I use for advanced input you can change this to however you want it doesn't matter but obviously 10 is too high don't have it on 10 maybe from 6 if, you st if you're a beginner from maybe 6 because it just feels slow at turning so you can just get used to it but once you get faster and you start liking it you just move it down gradually until you get to one or maybe zero if you like fast reactions I'm not going to apply that uh, I'll keep it as normal uh, so I have vibration off I just don't like vibration whatsoever I don't know I just it just disturbs the feel of the car because if you have it on you can feel the suspension, you can feel the tyre slip, you can feel the engine you know, or it, it, that's the sim part of it, you don't really want that, it's an arcade game so I always have it disabled I will give you a short run through of me using it let's use GT1 why not? Mm. The Red Bull, this is just a run this is nothing fancy, this is just going to be one lap showing you what I use so let's use the Aston Martin, this is just one lap in the Aston Martin for you, just to show you this is what I use Obviously, I'll show you the setting for it as well. 
that I use for this Aston. There you go, that's the setting for the Aston that I use. It is pretty damn decent. I hope you enjoy it when you use it. Give me some feedback. Alright, here's a just quick run through for you. As I'm coming up here, you can see where it tells you to brake. Brake here, yeah. Fifth gear. don't have to follow the line but only on the corners so you drop down to fourth here see the, the lines green it's good when it's green it means you can put your foot down fourth gear down here braking at the red zone turning in tapping it slightly Here, boot it round. Stay in fifth. Let go of the throttle a little bit. There we go. Get it round. Fifth gear here. Boot it round. Always get it on green. Sometimes you can stay on yellow going round the corner. Well that's your quick run through, I will show you in a different view. There you go. <clears throat> when you're breaking into this corner, which is at the 100 mark, you want to stay over to the left and then start turning in. You want to be in 5th gear coming through that corner. As I say, you don't have to follow the line, but you need to be on the line when you come into the corner. Obviously, fourth gear here to keep the traction going through the corner. Fourth gear here, braking hard. it round and then stay in fifth let go of the acceleration just a little bit tap it round and then put your foot down I mean like I say you don't have to follow the line but when you come into the corner you need to follow the line so it's fifth gear here boot it round staying in fifth all the way round and there's your quick example Hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe.